They've been called the children of the Atom, Homo sapiens superior and freaks of nature, but to their friends, they're best known as the X-Men. For 50 plus years, the X-Men have come to life in comics, TV, and the big screen. If you've heard of them, you probably know that the X-Men are mutants, superheroes who are born with their powers instead of getting them from science experiments, the supernatural, or from alien worlds. Mutation is a real process that affects every living creature in the world, including you. So you may have wondered, if mutation is a real thing, will there be real mutants someday? Is it just a matter of time before you realize your true powers, and babies start being born with wings or biometallic skin? The team at New School may have just found the answer. First, let's look at what mutation really is. Each newborn child has a genetic code that was passed down to them from their parents. This code determines what they will look like and how they will grow. Some of the father's and the mother's traits get passed on, and some don't. But while the new child's code is coming together, some genes will appear that don't come from either parent. Sometimes the child will be smarter than either parent, no offense mom and dad, or more resistant to illness, or have a completely different hair or eye color. These new genes are called mutations. Mutation happens in every generation. As you may have noticed, the world changes a lot over time, and mutation is nature's way of keeping up with the times. If a human dies before it can pass on the mutation to the next generation, then the gene will die with it. But if the mutated human lives long enough to pass the gene along to their children and their children's children, then the mutant gene will become a permanent part of the species. So in other words, if you have laser eyes, have lots of babies so that one day we can all have laser eyes. Laser eyes are cool. Not uh, very practical, but still pretty cool. Science tells us we are actually mutants evolved from a previous species of humans. Traits like the opposable thumb, straight spine, and canine teeth all became part of the human anatomy through this process. And there are even some human mutations that are still in beta, such as the ability to digest animal milk, something only about a quarter of all humans can do. It remains to be seen if this will become the norm for all humans or if it will just fade away. All of this means that you, yes you, are in fact a mutant. So what's the next step in the mutant evolution? Healing powers. Mutants like Wolverine and Chimichanga lovers like Deadpool possess a healing factor or an enhanced version of the LIN28A gene. LIN28A is a gene in all humans which promotes rapid and extensive healing only in the very young. Scientists speculate that if the gene were to remain active in adults, people would be capable of healing much faster and even regrowing limbs. Regeneration experiments with the LIN28A gene has shown regrowth of cartilage and bone for people with ear and finger amputations. Of all the mutations, I would not have guessed Deadpool to be the one closest to real life. Jeez, we just can't get rid of this guy. So will you see these powers in your lifetime? Probably not. The problem is mutations are really slow and the big changes don't happen all at once. As many as 200 individual mutations take place each time genes are passed on to a next generation, but it's still not enough to activate the X factor. That's what makes the X-Men special. The X-Factor mutation completely rewrites their genetic code, either at birth or during puberty. You think pimples are bad? Try growing a tail, an amphibian tongue, or blue fur. So be patient, but keep an eye out, because you never know when or who will begin to adapt to this ever-changing world. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this one, you can subscribe right here or check out newschool.com for full lessons to bring into the classroom. And you can always find us on the internet on Facebook, Twitter, and the gram at New School Official. Peace out, everybody.